All right, let's lower our brows for a minute and admit it. Farts are funny, and sometimes they're a good business. In fact, a guy in the 19th century named Le Petomont uh, was able to amaze crowds at the Moulin Rouge just by farting. He was a flatulist. That's a thing. But farts aren't just funny, they're also fascinating, and here's why. It's true, only about 1% of the overall fart mix is the thing producing the smell. That other 99% is stuff like carbon dioxide, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and methane. So what is that 1% you ask? Good question. It's the stuff left over uh, in your GI tract. It's the sulfurous gas, that small minority of it that produces all of the smell. And there's an interesting thing here because it turns out that everybody's fart mix ratio, you know, the sulfur to the hydrogen to the oxygen and so on, it's unique. It's kind of like a, a fingerprint that comes out of your butt. There's nothing worse than an unnecessary fart. The truth of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Talking while you eat increases your chances of flatulence. Uh, people believe it's because while you're eating and talking, you're taking in more air and it's going through your tract to your colon and there's only one way out of there. Yep. So the best way to prevent this, it turns out, is to chew slowly. Uh, whether you're eating food or just chewing gum, take your time with it. Uh, this will allow less excess air to build up in your stomach and ultimately become a fart. It turns out that your mom was right when she said, don't talk with your mouth full, if she said that. Amongst the many other deleterious effects that smoking has on your health, one of them is farting. And scientists don't know why. We asked them, they were like, I don't know, but smoking makes you fart more. Uh, there's a theory though, it's this irritation in the GI tract. And uh, just like with eating and the relationship between eating and farting, smoking and farting has a similar relationship, uh, at least potentially. The idea here is that when you smoke, you're swallowing more air. And this air is either gonna come out from the top as a belch or come out from the south side, the South Pole, the Australia as a fart. You've heard that expression, you are what you eat. Well, it turns out you do fart what you eat, uh, down to the specific ingredients. Carbohydrates are the primary culprit here, you know, starches, fibers, stuff like that. And foods that your body has trouble digesting can ferment in your colon. And as they ferment, of course, they create smelly, stinky, just horrible gas. Sugars or sweeteners are another big problematic player. They're not digested in your upper digestive tract. What happens instead is that they pass through. So you've got stuff like fructose, you've got stuff like sucrose, yes, even artificial sweeteners like sorbitol can affect the way that your farts smell and how much of them you are making. Anything that you eat, like strawberry smoothie here. See you in a little while, strawberry farts. You're welcome. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, share this video with your friends so you can correct some of their misconceptions about what's coming out of their them. And uh, let me know in the comments, did you fart while watching this video? If you'd like to learn more fascinating facts about farting, then check out our Brain Stuff video, Why Are You Farting, on our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about not just farts, but physics, music, sound, and space, then check out our website, HowStuffWorks.com.